Hi, my name is Olivia Gibson and I am a second year at Tuskegee University College of Veterinary Medicine. And today I'm going to teach you how I studied for all of the classes for first year. If you haven't already, check out the previous video in which I talk about everything that you might need to know before you start your first year. So for overall studying throughout the year, I would suggest that you study at least three or four subjects per day and kind of rotate every day so you're not studying the same three subjects every day, so kind of alternate between days. And take breaks. Breaks are super important because you're gonna get really exhausted if you don't take breaks. So the rule of thumb is take a break every hour, but you don't necessarily have to make it every hour. I don't do one every hour because I feel like I don't get enough done in an hour, so I do one every two or three hours. But make sure your breaks are like kind of timed so you don't get distracted. <laughs> so for studying, repetition is key. For every single subject, you really just need to repeat the information over and over and over again so that you can really grasp it or understand it or memorize it. So make sure you repeat and go through all the PowerPoints over and over again. Whatever study method you're doing, just keep doing it over and over again until you get it. Quiz each other, quiz yourself, so then that you can see your progress, but find what works for you. This is just the way that I studied that helped me, but it might not be the best for you. So if you have other tips, put them down in the comments below and let's get started. One class you're gonna have is parasitology. Parasitology is literally all memorization. For me, it was kind of hard to pay attention to. So for me, what I did is I just made tables with all the different parasites and the characteristics that we needed to know. You need to just memorize everything, which is a pain, but also helpful at the same time. And then for the second semester, actually, which helped me way more, what I did was actually made little jingles to every single parasite that we did. And even though they're like really cringy and weird, they helped, like I can still regurgitate a lot of the information that we learned last semester. Whereas from first semester, honestly, I couldn't probably tell you most of it. The songs really, really help. If you wanna check out those songs that I'm talking about, they are actually on my channel. If you wanna check out my Vet School Helpers playlist, you'll see all of my songs there. You'll also have anatomy. So for that, you have lecture and lab. It's a big combination of memorization and understanding. So don't just memorize everything because then you're gonna dump it and forget it and it's important. And everything you learn from that is going to build on it. So really understand everything and lab. For lecture, you have three different teachers for first semester and then also you're gonna have Dr. Amen for second semester and he's gonna teach you horses. First semester, you're gonna have Dr. Dafala and Dr. Eljack. For me, first semester, DeFall was fantastic. Second semester, a little bit less structured than he was first semester. LJAC, you're gonna have him mainly first semester. And he's hard for me to pay attention to. So a lot of times I would reformat the PowerPoints. And, so, and for the first exam, make sure that you draw lots of pictures. First semester, pictures are so helpful because they really help you figure out where everything goes. Go to lab, obviously. For example, the heart. I drew the heart probably 50 times and that helped me a lot with all of the um, different veins and arteries that come out off the heart. So you can uh, draw things, uh, make tables, do matrices, which are basically diagrams with information combined into them, and also reformat the slides, like I said. For Anatomy Lab, we were basically online for our exams. Unlike you, who will probably have labels and cadavers in lab, we got sent pictures. So if you don't do that, take pictures of your cadavers and your specimen and label them on your power, like on the slides that you make because that really helped. Um, another thing you can do is like label them without the words and like little dots and stuff and quiz each other on that and that helps a lot. When you're labeling your lab photos, make them pretty and make them personal to you because it'll help you remember them later. For micro lecture, it's gonna be mainly memorization but some understanding as well. Just Goyal will teach you that and along with Dr. Benjamin. Dr. Benjamin is really hard for me to pay attention to personally and I feel like his PowerPoints aren't as well formatted as Goyal's are. Goyal can sometimes be slow, but most of the time he's great and really helpful, especially with any questions you might have. He's very encouraging and treats us like his kids, so. For micro lecture, I would just suggest to study the PowerPoints I actually reformatted all the handouts that he had and that helped me a lot. For 
Micro Lab Fuse Quizlet. Um, my big had a Quizlet already made with all of the lab photos and I just went off of those and just practiced those and those helped me so much. So if you're struggling in lecture, don't get discouraged, use Quizlet and do well in lab because it'll save you. Then we have grand rounds and clinical skills. For us, those classes were kind of rarely existent. For grand rounds, you just do presentations, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, work together as a team and you'll do fine. For clinical skills, we didn't really have much of. We did a little bit of x-ray and some medical terminology. Medical terminology, you just have to memorize it. And I did it as a prerequisite for school, so I kind of knew a lot of the medical terminology already, so. For physiology, it's mostly understanding. Make sure you understand everything and you're not just memorizing because in physiology, it's really easy to do that sometimes, especially if you can just keep flipping through PowerPoints repetitively, but really actually understand it because it's gonna be a foundation for the next years to come. Uh, you'll have a couple different teachers. You'll have Dr. Betty and for first semester, in my opinion, she was fine. And um, second, when she teaches neuro, it's a little all over the place in my opinion. So I made my own handouts and my own PowerPoints for her neuro stuff. Um, I drew lots of pictures to associate paths together and things like that. Especially first semester, she's really good. And then first semester, you'll also have Eamon for physiology. He'll teach you GI phys and I personally love Eamon. He's very organized and very structured. He could come across very harsh and very, I guess some people could take it as rude, but He's not, I've personally talked to him a lot outside of class and he talks to you different than he teaches. And if he's teaching you one-on-one, -on -one, he's gonna teach you differently than he is in a lecture setting. So don't take anything he says personally, that's just his teaching style and don't get offended by anything he says because he really doesn't mean it. He's a really nice person. So don't take any of the teachers who might seem rude or annoying, you know, as a teacher, don't think that that is who they are because someone who teaches might be a different person when they're not teaching. For physiology, I also did some drawing for like the cellular respiration process or the muscle contraction, things like that. I did drawings for those and that helped me. You can also do tables like the different brain parts and, and their functions. Um, you can also do matrices for these, which are just um, like diagrams with information. For immunology, I made study guides and that helped me. Sometimes I'd reformat the PowerPoints, but not often. For ethics, it's basically all memorization. I had a hard time paying attention in ethics, but um, take notes and make a study guide. That's what helped me and just study it, repetition. For public health, I really struggled paying attention just because I felt a lot of it was really random. Like we had to learn how the water filter process and sewage process works, which made me confused on why we were learning that and what that had to do with veterinary medicine. But I guess it's just trying to make us more rounded people. Cool, that's fine. But things like that, uh, make a study guide. I made a study guide for that or get one from your big. And that's what helps me with that. And try to take notes during class. That's how I tried to pay attention. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it super helpful. And good luck in your first year of vet school. You're gonna do so awesome. Keep it up and stay positive. Thanks for watching.